Hi guys, I'm Ken, the Boring Fisherman. I'm working on the boat. I, uh, I'm going to do a tiller extension. I don't know if I'm going to get the screw with the seats or not today. But, uh, Honda did me dirty. The size of the handle on the tiller is between sizes for PVC pipe. So I'm going to get really creative here. Follow along if you can. Here in the saw, I have a piece of black PVC pipe. It's got a little notch in it. Uh, it was a throwaway piece that came off of a job that I did a few months ago. And I was going to use it as a side guide on that trailer. But I'm going to remove those side guides because I don't like them. So I'm going to cut this thing down about this much so that I have that much handle extension. I can always make it shorter later. But I'm going to use the drop to make shims to go in the end on the tiller handle. So... I'll go ahead and make some cuts and show you what I got going on. Alright, so here's my two pieces. That's that's the other one of these. But uh, this one here, I cut it the same length as the handle. The handle stops just right there. But this is going to become shims. And that is going to be my overall length. Now, I'll probably have to shorten it up again later, but I want to leave it a little long now because after I get the seats mounted, I'll be able to make sure that I get that I'm comfortable with it because reaching that far behind me to drive sucks. So, anyway, I'm going to go cut some shims out of that and make this piece work. All right, I got that short piece cut into four rough quarters. They're going to be hidden, they're going to be inside, so it doesn't matter how perfect they are. I'm going to use three of them. All right, so that's how those three pieces are. I got to hold them or they'll fall off, but these are going to fill the void. All right, so it's not down all the way yet. I'm going to continue this slot up to the end of, of where the handle is, and then I'm just going to secure it with a couple of hose clamps. Now what I've done here, this is my handle piece, is to continue that slot that already existed I marked straight up from it to just beyond the end of my handle on the motor and I drilled a relief hole. That's just a half inch hole I drilled there and then I continued the slot up using a cutting wheel on a grinder. And that's going to let the pipe open up the little bit that it needs to on those shims and give me enough room for it to squeeze down with some hose clamps. Now that's what it looks like on the motor. Well, got one seat mounted. Now I got to make the brackets for the back seat, which is my seat. And then once the seats are in, I'll be pretty much done for the day. I decided not to cut holes in it. Terry came up with an idea for using flat bar. And uh, I think that's going to work out. I also put a Scotty mount over there for my bait table. So, anyway, we're coming along. So don't mind the sound of equipment. There's other guys here working, doing stuff. But, tiller handle, outboard, I'm sitting in the seat. The seat swivels a little bit. I can reach the dang tiller. I'm definitely going to be able to shorten it a little. We're getting there. This will work. Yep. That tiller handle actually works out pretty good. When I get some clamps for that, I might keep it at that length. As you can see here, I've made tiller handles like this before, and they were effective. I would like to make this John boat as user friendly as this boat was and make as many memories in it as I did in this one. Thanks for watching.